Well, today is uh, Monday, June the, what is today, the 14th, June the 14th, something like that, and I am under the Vega at the moment, the Vega project. I've had a major setback here in the project. As you can see, there's no transmission, and the reason there's no transmission is because the torque converter decided to implode on itself for no particular reason. I mean, this, this car's got 311 miles on it, 311 miles on it, and the torque converter took a big old dump on me. So, me and a buddy of mine just pulled the transmission out of it. It's up on the lift, and uh, needless to say, I'm not too happy. This is the fluid that came out of it. You can just see the metal in it. I don't know if it comes through on the video or not, but. I mean, it's, trust me, it's golden in there. Nothing but metal. The car's been running fantastic. I've been enjoying the heck out of driving it and uh, didn't have any problems at all. And then I blew that transmission line, one of the transmission lines and I fixed that and uh, everything was fine for about a week and then we drove it to the park to take some pictures of it and we got home and i was pulling in the garage and all of a sudden i heard noise and i thought what the heck is that so turned it off and let it cool turned it back on and everything was fine until i shifted it when i put it in drive that's when i heard the noise and I thought, well, I'll tell you what it sounded like. It sounded like the gear on the starter was uh, riding on the flywheel there, you know, like right there. So I crawled under there while it was starting and looked, and that was not what it was. Unfortunately for me and for the Vega, Mr. Big Stuff, it turned out to be the torque converter, which is a real drag. Because I had to take transmission out of it. Now it's down for probably a week. The Car Craft Street Machine Nationals are next week. A week from this Saturday. I want to go if I can get this thing back together. We'll see. There's the torque converter. And uh, it'll be going back to the manufacturer tomorrow. If you shake it, it sounds like a tambourine. Really unfortunate, man. I don't know what the heck happened, but I talked to the manufacturer of this torque converter, and um, we had a good discussion about it. He said he'd look at it, assess it. If it's a failure on their part, he'll replace it. If not, it's going to cost me $85 to have it redone, but not really sure I want to put it back in there, to be honest with you. Not sure I trust it. It's an ACC Boss Hog Street Fighter which got a lot of good reviews. I did my research on it. You know, I didn't want a real fancy converter for the car, just being a street stormer. I was gonna go with a TCI, and the Boss Hogs had a lot of real good um, reviews on it, so I bought one of those, and it lasted 311 miles and imploded. So I'm not really sure at this point if I'm gonna put it back in there. I guess I'll wait until he gets it tomorrow, and, or a couple days from now, and assesses it and calls me and tells me what's up. If he replaces it for nothing, I may well put it back in there, but if he wants to charge me for it, I don't know, man. It's going to be a tough call. But everything under here looks pretty good, though. You know, I mean, it's just really unfortunate, man. The thing was finally done and now I'm back to starting over again basically but we'll see we'll see what happens hopefully he'll make everything right on this and we'll be back up and running by next weekend so I can go to the car, car craft nationals and uh, that'll make me real happy but I just thought I'd so this video is, I did this video with my phone, so I know it's not very good, but at least it gives you some idea what's happening.
What a bummer. But that's hot rods. But a brand new torque converter should not break that soon. It just shouldn't happen. And uh, I'm going to have to really think hard about whether or not I trust it enough to put it back in there. I don't want to do this again. Once is enough. That's it for now. See you when I get it back together. Thanks for watching.